Hello, my awesome and amazing Tauruses. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Messages from your specific person. What is it that they wish to say to you? We're going to find out. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Taurus viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Power of number two, number four, and number two. Okay. Looks like we're going to the power of number eight. Some of you Tauruses are dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. Others of you could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus born in the month of April. And yes, a lot of you Tauruses were born at the earlier part of May. That is true. You may also be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo born in the month of August. Some of you could be 22, 24, or 28 years of age. Others of you could be 42 and or possibly 48 years old. You might have been born in 1982 and or possibly 1984, but either way, go into the power of number eight for the beautiful star sign of Taurus, messages from your specific person. One. Trusted ancestors of my Taurus viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective? A message, please, from Taurus, this person unto them. Show me what's up. Ooh. Taurus. Got the Wheel of Fortune here. Something about fate and destiny with this person. There's an unexpected turn of events. Mm -hmm. And it could also be true. What goes around comes around and this person could also be getting their karma. Could be dealing with another fixed sign of the Zodiac that would include Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, and or you might be dealing with a Scorpio. Mm. This person's been juggling apples and oranges, Taurus. Could be dealing with another earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, and or Capricorn. This person was also juggling you and someone else, but something has become imbalanced in their connection. So I feel like this is the what goes around comes around. So where they were juggling you, somebody could be juggling them. But either way, there's an imbalanced energy that's going on with this person or they don't feel as balanced without you in their life. Oh, boy. Okay, in some cases, you guys could have known each other for a very long time. I mean, maybe well over 15, 20 years. You could have met when, you know, you were in high school, grade school, maybe even in college. But it says you and I were too young. So a lot of times with this statement, I pick it up as that this person was very immature as far as their, you know, their communication was concerned. The timing just wasn't right for us. So they had a lot of things that were going on in their world, Taurus. I don't feel it's because they didn't care about you or they didn't love you. They just weren't ready for a commitment. They weren't they weren't ready for that higher level of commitment with you. And even if you were married to this person at one point in time, they still weren't ready. 
it almost feels like some of them could have been just going through the motions of certain things. However, in some cases where those of you who were not married uh, to this person, I think, again, they found that sense of balance with you. And part of me feels that they did see the bigger picture at one point in time, but I think they got, they freaked themselves out. They either freaked themselves out, psyched themselves out, got overwhelmed. They just didn't know how to handle this. I think they even think that this connection between the two of you was just too good to be true. Which would tell me that more than likely, and if you know anything of their prior dating history, or if they told you what their former relationship was like and all of this, it could be that they were just acclimated to a lot of drama-infused connections. So I feel, Taurus, that this had nothing to do with you, everything to do with them. I really value your opinion and the unique perspective that you have to offer. So they do respect you, but there were elements of them where they disregarded you, okay? That tells me this person, Taurus, finds you to be very intellectual. You could have also been dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. I'm really sorry, but I can't reciprocate your feelings. So this person was in fact one-sided or you could be going through a newer situation right now where this person is just very blasé, blasé. They're really not giving you the time nor attention. So basically the way I see it here is For the newer connections, if this person is falling short of taking you out, really truly getting to know you, and if you find yourself to be the one that keeps constantly trying to call, just stop doing that. Pull back. Because they're showing me there's something in their environment or it's just them. They're juggling something. And... They're being highly standoffish in some cases with some of you guys. So a lot of them are not reciprocating the feelings. For others of you that had a more stronger bond, stronger connection, I do feel that this person is going to definitely come back around the bend. Why would I say that? The Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is a big energy because it's a major arcana. So... Something will shift, but for those of you that are feeling frustrated by a newer connection, don't blow up their phone. If they're not, if they're giving you one word text messages, either choose to block them or just back off for a little bit. Okay. And, um, keep moving forward. Okay. Cause you never know this person, if you're in that type of situation, they could come back around the bend. Okay, but that doesn't mean that you accept them back, you know, especially if they're very inconsistent. If inconsistency is obviously not your cup of tea, Taurus, they're not the right one. Because nobody, any person of honor is not going to make you wait, just FYI. They're not. They're not going to make you wait because they're going to be more proactive. This person is definitely imbalanced. I told you, they're coming back. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning back into your life. And could be coming back for engagement. Now, in other cases, this person could have been engaged to somebody else before in the past and it didn't exactly work out. Or they still had feelings. They still had feelings for someone from their past. This person's coming back.
you are the one and only. Hence the reason why they're coming back. They had to have some go through some kind of awakening or get their karma. I know I hurt you. I don't want to hurt you again. So they are a little bit concerned. It's not like they have intentions to hurt you again. This part of me feels with this statement that they are going through some form of an insecurity. Because they're the ones who put them, themselves into the position to basically walk on eggshells with you. You haven't made them feel that way. They put themselves into their, their own positioning. So a lot of them do want to return back. They are just afraid like they're going to make the wrong mistake or they're going to be tippy-toeing around the situation. But like I said, if this person and it's a newer connection and, you know, it's been over two, maybe you went out on a date with this person, but it's been well over a few days, two weeks, whatever. Listen, nobody is going to make it just wait like that. If they're making you wait and they're not, adding to the conversation they're really not that interested okay and that's just how it rolls now you can totally manifest you can totally manifest for a whole new reality but i always say before you manifest for somebody and put yourself into the right vibrational alignment you have to decide for yourself like is it worth it to you okay so i'm picking up two different storylines two different types of energies with different people that you could be dealing with Okay. You don't have time to keep spinning your wheels, Taurus, uh, for somebody who's vaguely responding back to you. Okay. They're wasting your time. All right. But on the other hand, for those that were in a stronger bond, a stronger connection where there was dating, you could have been with this person for well over six months, a year, three years, five years, whatever the case may be. They're coming back. So be prepared because here's what's going on planetary wise. The planet Saturn, which is the planet of karma, went into retrograde on June 29th of 2024 and will stay in that position until November 15th of 2024. This person has got some karma coming to them or they are going through the karma hence a reason why they're coming back for a reconciliation okay so right now focus in on you okay this person has some lessons to go through because they need to when they come back to us they need to explain to you why why do they value you and why do they value the connection and what are they going to do differently? Okay, so we're going to leave the energy like that for the moment until the next time we get through the zodiac cycle here. Okay, so but in the meantime, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers for your situation, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant Victoria will book you for that personal reading. If you love this content, Taurus, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and until next time, take care.